that's all dried up. The water ends there. And you can see algae forming, so it'll soon be drying. And the length of this creek pond, that's where the catfish are. And it ends there. So this is perhaps a hundred yards worth of water that's two to three feet deep and maybe you know at its widest point six seven feet across Big frog. Spawning catfish. So it's remarkable to me that in that shallow little area there, we can find such catfish of a size that uh, can spawn. How are there catfish in this intermittent stream is a great question. Because this water is not connected, they're just spots and pools. So somehow those fish have managed to make it up there, where they're spawning. I mean, it's quite dry there, and it picks up. And again, these tall grasses do help. The shade they provide prevents the water from evaporating. This pool is quite deep. But again, it seems to stop. So the situation may just be that those catfish are trapped. Uh, it is supposed to be something like a hundred degrees here today and as high as a hundred and two tomorrow. The chance that they'll make it to frogs is dependent on whether or not this water evaporates. If perhaps it gets through there, it's possible. running in the back, but it definitely stops there, so this is maybe a hundred yards of standing water. is going to be drying up over the course of the next few days, and yet I'd say these are about 9 to 10 inch flathead catfish have spawned here in this creek bed, which is an intermittent stream. So how they got to here must have been during that last thunderstorm with the flash flooding, it's possible. And now they've got really very limited room. <laughs> 